Hello everybody. So I just got this iPod here. Fully charged and everything. Plugged into the computer and it's restored to bypass iCloud. All you don't really need a different iOS. Because if you jailbreak you can go up higher, but iOS 3.1.3 does not have the iCloud unless you extrusion with an Apple ID. And to bypass that, all you do is have to change your name of the iPod, which it said my name on it. But I changed the iPod, and now it's letting me iPod software update. So you want to click restore iPod, and then it will start downloading the software like it is now. Now, this is a very nice condition iPod, as you can see, and everything is perfect with it. works very nicely has a lot of music and stuff 627 songs and there you have it two minutes remaining iPod software update downloading one item so there you have it um, this is 8 gigabytes Apple no longer supports this it's discontinued by manufacturer and I'm also selling this with the charging cable and a pair of original headphones. So just check on Amazon. Uh, just buy this. But uh, yeah, 60 seconds left. Ah, uh, yeah. So let me just give. Let me just show you the iPod again. 50 seconds. Go into settings. Um, iCloud's not here anymore. So the bypass should have worked. Um, my name's Vero. I'm from GadgetWide. And yeah, see many songs. 3.1.3. And yeah. It's ready for activation now. Once this is down, uh, down downloading, you'll understand that it does not have the activation anymore. Um, let's see if this calculator set is really nice. Alright. But yeah, everything seems to be working. Um, it's one second left. iPod is extracting the software now iTunes I meant, as you can see, preparing iPod for restore, and there you have it, wow, it's the old iTunes symbol as well, look at that, you don't see that unless you're on a really old Mac computer, you'd think they'd change that by now, but 3.1.3 does not seem to be doing that for us, Still says preparing iPod for restore phase. Um, yeah, there you have it. Now, once the updating is done, you'll be able to see that the Apple iPod and iCloud and Apple ID will be removed. Waiting for iPod. It has the restore bar right now. Let's see if I can lean this up against there like that. And there you have it. Alright. Now this bypass will work for all iOS iPod 1, iPod 2, iPad 3, iPod 4, iPad 5, iPod 6, iPhone 1, iPhone 2, iPhone 3, iPhone 4, iPhone 5, and iPhone 5S. Not to mention the 4S and the 3GS. Now it's now restoring the software. As you can see, the bars on both monitoring software is telling you that the iPod is being restored at the same rate. Now, 
All we gotta do is just wait for this restore, and iCloud should be bypassed on 7.1.1, 7.1.2, and 7.1.1.3. If I could update it onto this iPod, I would, and I'd show you that this method actually works. This is Vero from GadgetWide, and I am here to help iPod is still restoring and I will show you today with the with the clock in the background that this it is working and it is working on this iPod with the world background as you can see as the preview picture on the iTunes capacity 7.46 gigabytes serial number 1F747 and B0W4N iOS 3.1.3 iTunes is restoring the software on this iPod and there you have it it's almost done restoring iPod restoring iPod software iTunes bar is loading it is plugged in as you can see software is almost in completion restoring this iPod to the factory settings without the Apple ID or iTunes background. Now whenever I do this I usually drink some Gatorade. Fruit punch of course. Or ice punch you know. Oh, cap just fell off the table. Anyways, the restoring iPod is nearly done on the computer. And there you have it, verifying iPod software. iPod is almost completion on their completion bar. Verifying software is moving rapidly fast on the bar. Thank you very much. And I'm getting my iPod to full restore mode without the Apple ID or the iCloud bypass. You know, Apple has been doing a lot of security updates in the recent updates that have been happening in 7.1.2, but they are still not pa pa patching anything. I don't know if they're just idiotic. Maybe they need Steve Jobs. Maybe they're just stupid. But you never know. Because this bypass will work. And you are being bypassed by young people. So here we go. And verifying iPods restore. The bar on the iPod is almost completely done. Restoring iPod firmware. As you can see, the process here is almost complete. The bar is very close to being done on the iPod. This is an iPod 5th gen, by the way, now. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, restoring iPod firmware. Your iPod has been iPod has been restored to factory settings. Is restarting. Please leave the iPod connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. The message will be dismissed in one second. And there you have it, guys. Now you're gonna see. Wow, 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 wow. There you have it, guys. First on gadget. Why iPod's almost done on completion. Now we're just going to be going through a fast boot loop here. And now the bar is done on iTunes. It now says connect the iTunes, but the iPod is already connected. So now I'm just waiting for the iPod to reset. Notice that I am not moving the camera and it is still being recorded here. Now let's see if this iPod will turn on. Alright, it is connected to iTunes now, so let's see if I just better replug the USB, and then it should be fully working. Oh, didn't even have to touch it. Didn't even have to touch it. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. iPod Bypass. 7.1.2. There you have it first. Welcome to your new iPod. Bypassed on iTunes and on device. Now let me put the device right here as I bypass it on iTunes as well. 
set up his new iPod, continue, get started, and there you have it guys. It doesn't get any better than this. My name is Barrow, and I am from GadgetWide, and you've just seen it first here today. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Bypass, fully done, uh, once again. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're wondering if you can buy this iPod, you can buy it from me on Amazon. And uh, yeah, it has been completely restored now. Everything works perfectly. iTunes will be is removed. I will show you that it's removed in the iPod. The whole iCloud layer has been blocked, and everything is ready for use. There you have it. You've seen it first on Gadgetwide Vero Production. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. See you later.